Welcome to my channel. I'm Liz from blueandhazel.com and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 2. All right, let's get started um, with the flip through. So I bought this for my first grader and he is seven and last year we used the Good and the Beautiful Level K. So when I went through the scope and sequence, um, a lot of this on level two was new for him, but everything in level one was what we covered last year with the good and the beautiful level K. Um, I wanna point out a couple things in the back before we get started. Um, they have resources in the back. So a lot of these, they say take out and laminate them. Um, an addition mat they have. Um, I did try to take some of these out. Um, can try and show you just here. Um, while you're watching, but I find they're a little bit tricky, at least in the back of the book. Maybe it's just the angle, but I ended up uh, try actually ripping a few, trying to get them out. So they don't look quite as pretty to me, and I find that um, a little bit of a bummer, just if you wanna have that pretty page that you're gonna laminate. But you can see it has that perforated edge there. So um, they have a bunch of other resources that will be part of the lessons. And they all say remove from book and laminate, blank chart on reverse side. Um, so we haven't gotten to a lot of these. This is used um, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. This is the first year that they get to the thousands place. And then Masterbooks uses these things called houses, uh, which is a really cute idea um, where you'll be basically taking this out, um, cutting it out, and you can let your kids color it. Uh, then they recommend laminating it and you'll be putting it, um, like taping it to a cup of some kind so that you can put pieces in it and transfer the pieces from the ones to the tens to the hundreds. And so um, if you wanna use this, great. I actually found another really cool resource um, that I can show you about from, arrowsandapplesauce.com. She has an Etsy shop and she made these cute little houses. So the ones house, the tens house, and um, a hundreds house. And she also made a thousands one. But you can see it's just taped onto a cup. And this is one of the things that we'll be using during the lessons. So super cute, go check out her site. I will go ahead and start with the front now. So this is our first year using Masterbooks. Um, it is so different in the way that every single um, every single lesson starts with a story. So it's gonna follow Charlotte and Charlie. And I was a little bit nervous if my kids would like the story format, but there's going to be some tie-in to math in every story. And so if you're willing to read that and your kids' attention spans can handle that, this is gonna be fun. And if they can't sit and listen for that long or they're just completely uninterested, Masterbooks might not be the best for them. They might just want something more like worksheety. Um, the second thing that you're gonna see a lot of with Masterbooks, uh, we didn't get this last year with The Good and the Beautiful, is a lot of uh, copy work. So my son is learning to write out numbers. And so far they are just doing um, in the beginning, they're doing some review on time with the hours. You can see more copy work. And lessons are super short. Horizontal and vertical. There really are just a few practice problems every time. And I'm planning on ordering Masterbooks extra problems. They have an extra practice problem for each level. They were sold out when I looked and ordered these about a month ago. So I'm sure those are back in stock and I'm planning on ordering them just so they can have some more practice problems. But you can also just write it on a whiteboard if that's easier and that's definitely the cheaper route. So lots, you'll see another story, more copy work. It's colorful. Lots of word problems. A 
money, more copy work, more clock work, fill in the blanks, counting by fives, counting by tens. So on days where we have a lot of writing for math, I actually feel like I have to go a little bit easier with my seven-year-old on um, his writing because there is so much writing and his, his hands do get tired after writing 25, 30 numbers. So um, that's something to keep in mind. And this will be the first time that we have seen um, addition with double digits. So that begins in level two. Odds, evens. There's uh, multiple times throughout the book where you'll trace days of the week and write it out. And same with months of the year. So you get a little bit of spelling in there as well. Measuring. So you get the idea. It. Um, I'll go a little bit faster for you, but the lessons are very short. Exercise one, day 56. Exercise two, day 57. So this was for one day, day 57 would be this side and this side. The next day would be this side, just that side. Then the next day you would have day 59. Day 60 is this side, this side, and this side, so three pages. So it varies between one and three pages. Counting by hundreds. And then um, they have these cute little things in the back of the book. I'll show you the ones I tried to tear out where um, you'll be able to laminate these and then use a dry erase marker for addition and subtraction of these larger numbers. And um, you will find every single lesson, almost, <laughs> is tied in um, to the Bible. So that's one strength I love about Master Books is that it is teaching my kids um, what I'm already teaching them at home. So if you don't believe the Bible's true, this curriculum would be really hard for you. Um, it would be possible to not read certain parts, but it is pretty much every day. So just know that's in there. Lots of word problems. Um, one other thing I wanna just point out that I love about this curriculum is that instead of having baking be some kind of bonus activity um, that you're already tired after your schoolwork is done, they actually incorporate some baking into a lesson that that is your day. So I really like that because uh, we haven't gotten to a lesson like that yet, but I just saw that in there and I thought this is really neat because baking is math and the kids are learning if you're intentional with that. So um, they try to make this short for kids and hands-on for kids and story-based. And I was pretty worried my son wouldn't like the story form and so far he really enjoys it. So I just read it out loud to him. Tracing, story problems. I do see a few things like this that my son loves these types of games and there were tons of them last year in our curriculum and a lot less of them in master books. So I might just be on the hunt for more fun math games. But there are some in here. So far, I really like it. Um, it is pretty different from what we were doing last year. Um, we loved The Good and the Beautiful. I just was feeling like it was too long. Um, lots of little things for me to do and little games for me to learn on the spot. And lots of little pieces to take out. Um, and then I was cutting out anything I possibly could to shorten it up for his attention span. And so 
this to me just is something that we can actually get through with two kids doing math this year, two kids doing other subjects this year. And review. So we're almost to the back of the book. You kind of get a feel for what they'll end the year with. Once again, Masterbooks is not a grade for level, so be sure to take the placement. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching. Uh, one thing I did want to show you, just really quick, um, I made these fun little mats for addition. So once I get this up on my blog, I'll go ahead and link that for you. But um, this is something, just a cuter version of the page that I accidentally ripped out of the back when I was trying to get it out and it was tricky for me and so I thought well I'll just make a cute page so if this is something you want to use I'll go ahead and link that below as soon as I get that up.